What up techies? The FAST telescope, which is stationed in China and billed as the world's largest, may have found alien radio signals. Scientists are still analyzing the data to determine if this is indeed the case. But if it is, it could be a major discovery. So far, all indications point to these signals being of natural origin, but we won't know for sure until more research is done. In any event, it's certainly an exciting possibility. Before we dive deeper, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first to know when new videos are released that will pique your interest. There's a massive astronomical observatory tucked away in the Chinese mountains, and few know about it. In general, a telescope's resolution decreases as the diameter increases. The higher the resolution, the larger the image. In addition, because radio telescopes have to be much larger in order to see distant objects, they have a lower resolution than optical telescopes. This telescope can study the radiation from these galaxies so far away. We can't even begin to imagine how far some of them are from us. These galaxies' central supermassive black holes can be studied using this telescope. And these are surely the first supermassive black holes to be born in the cosmos. Moreover, because it's a radio telescope, it's capable of picking up radio signals from possible extraterrestrial civilizations. Who knows if an alien civilization is trying to communicate with us via radio signals elsewhere. It's possible that this telescope could be the first step in interplanetary communication. Astronomers are only waiting for the first data to be released, as everything is in place. It will be analyzed and processed, and the results will be made available to the public. There was, however, a glimmer of hope that they had discovered something truly remarkable a signal from an extraterrestrial civilization. This now-deleted report was published by the Global Times, which Twitter refers to as China's state-affiliated media. An extraterrestrial civilization has been suspected by scientists using China's fast radio telescope, according to the report. Is there a way to tell if this alien message is genuine? What's more, why did they delete it? The more sensitive our telescopes are, the more likely we will discover something interesting. The problem is that we also detect a lot of noise and a lot of useless data that scientists are always trying to get rid of. Each instrument has its own distinct background noise. Defining the so-called signal-to-noise ratio is critical. In decibels, the ratio is usually expressed as a single number. Any number between 0 and 1 can be used as the ratio. Over 0 dB, the signal level is greater than the noise level, indicating that the SNR is above 0 dB. The better the signal quality, the higher the ratio is. S, N of 40 dB, for example, is better than an S, N of 20 dB. Because devices have a harder time distinguishing between the desired signal and the noise when the S, N of a Wi-Fi signal is too low, network performance can suffer. Dropped packets and data retransmissions can occur, reducing throughput and increased latency. Everything that isn't relevant to your research is considered noise. If you're studying supernova, you might come across asteroids while surveying the sky with your telescope. Therefore, you'll see some signals considered noisy to you, even though they might have some value to other astronomers studying asteroids. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, only that you're looking. For a time, our research with telescopes was easier because the first telescopes were less powerful and could only detect very strong signals. This meant that we were only interested in bright sources, which were easily distinguishable from the background noise signal. For example, of the telescope or the sky. We are now conducting a different type of research and searching for ever more low emission sources. As a result, we're aiming to reduce the amount of background noise as much as possible. This is the magnitude of the capability of a telescope like FAST. Because this signal would be so weak, we wouldn't be able to tell it apart from the background noise in our data set. In this case, artificial intelligence may be able to help in the future. With AI, we may be able to tell the difference between what we're looking for and the background noise. I'm afraid we wouldn't be able to complete the task. However, humans won't give up. A telescope's limitations and contribution to noise increase as more astronomers use it. The good news is that FAST is a new telescope. Astronomers should have plenty of time to learn how to get more accurate and decipherable data in the future. China has never had access to this equipment before, so it's a new experience for them. While it may take some time to clear the clutter, in the end, we should be able to locate solid signals. However, this does not imply that the upcoming data release does not contain alien signals at all, but it is probably too early to tweet about it. As far as we know, no one responded to the tweet. The possibility that the suspicious signal is some kind of radio interference is also very high, and it needs to be further confirmed or ruled out, said Zhang Tongji, the chief scientist of the China at Civilization Research Group. This could take some time, while combing through fast data gathered in 2019. 
Zhang is said to have spotted two sets of intriguing signals. According to reports, Zhang has also raised the possibility that the signals result from radio interference. Why do you think this is? This means that the telescope could potentially be bombarded with infinite radiation from Earth's atmosphere. Perhaps one of these signals was mistakenly picked up by the telescopes. Most detected signals could result from radio pollution rather than alien civilization. RFI stands for Radio Frequency Interference, a technical term. RF interference can be generated by cell phones and other wireless devices such as TV transmitters, radar, satellites, and electronics and computers near the observatory. For example, the SETI project, dedicated to the search for extraterrestrial life, has previously discovered something of this nature. So far, all of the signals detected by SETI researchers are produced by our own species. We, the extraterrestrial race, have arrived. Furthermore, as the level of radio pollution rises, it is becoming increasingly difficult to conduct SETI observations from the Earth's surface. The Moon's far side might be an excellent place to conduct SETI research. There are plenty of ways to build a radio telescope on the Moon for a low price, so why not think outside the box? Your telescope will completely obliterate all of our planet's radio pollution in this location. In the past, we've mistaken an alien signal for a terrestrial one, which is not the first time. For instance, the Breakthrough Listen initiative used the Parkes Murion Telescope in Australia to observe our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri, also called Proxen, in April 2019. Initially, we were looking for stellar flares. Now that we know more about these flares, we can better understand whether planets orbiting M dwarf stars like Proxen are habitable. For SETI purposes, two years later, the same data set was re-examined using the same methodology. Breakthrough Listen student Shane Smith was the first to notice that the routine analysis had picked up something out of the ordinary during his summer 2020 internship. We were initially stumped as to why that plot had such a strong signal. Here's how it all goes down. The plot is divided into sections by a horizontal line from left to right. A narrowband signal was the first clue that this was a strange signal. Astrophysical sources are unknown for signals this narrow which is typical of artificial transmitters. In addition, the signal appeared absent in the off-source observations, as expected for a signal emanating from a single point in the night sky. Signals were being sent in a specific band, making it appear that aliens had built an artificial transmitter and were pointing it at us. An extensive search for radio signals generated on Earth led the researchers to discover that BLC-1 was an intermodulation product of an Earth-based transmitter identifying it as such. The production of intermodulation reflects a specific type of transmitter inefficiency or malfunction. Science is so much more excellent than you think. It's not all tedious theory and long hours in the lab. There are times when things get exciting, such as at FAST, where they detect 38 billion signals per second from space. And that was just one telescope. If we found evidence of aliens outside our planet, then this would be quite something else altogether. We'll certainly have made history yet again, with scientists worldwide celebrating their discoveries while tuning into updates about what may very well become one of those defining moments of modern science. What do you think about what FAST has found? Let us know in the comments section below.